Okay, I'm just going to show you the difference between the JLF extended shaft versus the stock Hayabusa shaft. Um, right off the bat, the big difference is if you look closely, it is thicker in diameter on the silver one as opposed to the black Hayabusa one. And here's where you can see the difference. Obviously, your parts will slide on just fine. The one that's usually the main problem child is this the spring base plate. So let's take a look at how it fits on this thicker diameter. It's a little more tougher, see? And this is why I was suggesting a little bit of Shinitsu grease on this because it will go on there, but at first getting it over this section here, sometimes it's a pain. You can also file that down a little bit if you'd like. Anyway, that right there is your problem child. As you can see, once you get it to slide all the way through, then you're, there's no problem. But let me go ahead and explain how to install it. So here we have the body of the Hayabusa, and we have the pivot. So we're going to stick that pivot in there, and we're going to run the, the, the JLF extended shaft through. And again, like I said, it's going to take a little bit of force initially, but then you get it in there. Now the rest of it is as follows. Spring base plate. And again, like I said, it is going to be hard, but it does go on. In fact, sometimes you might have to take a screwdriver or something and gently just massage it the rest of the way through until it's touching the, the, the base all the way in the back. As you can see, it's all the way down there now. You want it touching that bottom. Next we'll add the spring, followed by the coal actuator. Like you said, also felt a little tough. Get in there. And see, that's what I was saying. If you see, look at the height. See, I can put that washer on there now. As you can see, here's the E-clip. Put that on there. And there you have it. Everything works. Everything sticks. And works like intended, but with an extended shaft. There you go.